Can you believe that at the Xbox Hub, we've dished out 15 five-star reviews in 2023? It's testament to just how good the year has been. Using the wonder of mathematics, the likelihood then is that November will give us at least one five out of five game. Which will it be? Bluey the video game is obviously in with a big shout, but will Persona 5 Tactica deliver another masterclass? Or can we expect Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 to finally grasp hold of some critical acclaim? The first game up for contention is Roller Coaster Tycoon Adventures Deluxe. Ah, oh, we can almost smell the oversalted chips and the tang of vomit. It can only be Roller Coaster Tycoon Adventures, which finally comes to Xbox in November with a shiny new deluxe edition. This is a Switch only title on release, but it's finally going multi platform, bringing its sandbox joys to all ages. What that deluxe tag means is 18 new attractions and a selection of enhanced features so that you can trap your punters in a variety of new death traps. The UI has been modernised and the graphics made more suitable for an Xbox home. Time to see how many loops you could feasibly put into a roller coaster. Robocop Rogue City The award for game receiving the most unexpected buzz is Robocop Rogue City. Normally, these belated licensed games are terrible, but reviewers are looking at each other bemusedly because Robocop Rogue City is, whisper it, worth playing. Well, that's what other people are saying. We're going to trust our own eyes, ears and fingertips. In true Robocop fashion, developers Taeon have dragged Peter Weller out of retirement and welded him into the chassis once again. This is a first-person shooter set in Old Detroit, where hilariously you can hand out parking tickets. You can also shoot crims and solve crimes, but we just know we're going to get hooked in that parking ticket loop. The Talos Principle 2 Has it really been nine years? The original Talos Principle was a gem, an overlooked and underplayed puzzle game that explored the nature of life while it massaged your brain. It paved the way for games like Maquette and still holds up to this day. Nine years of development should mean that the Talos Principle 2 is the one to nab that coveted five stars, right? It's yet another sprawling expanse of puzzles where humanity is extinct and robots have made a home in the wreckage of their creators. There are puzzles, meta puzzles and golden puzzles to solve across 12 different regions. So brush off your notebook and pen, you're going to need them. Football Manager 2024 Oh, it's that time again, is it? The latest iteration of Football Manager arrives, ready to capitalise on the start of the football season. Fancy hosting Champions League games at Kenilworth Road? Perhaps you can break Leicester's Championship opening game record. The sky is truly your oyster. Our favourite addition this time out. You can port your progress from Football Manager 2023 directly into 2024. Now that must have taken some coding. It means that your Lionel Messi regen can tear it up for Southampton FC just as he did in your 2050 save in Football Manager 2023. There's the addition of personalised incentives in player contracts and advanced player animations too. Like a Dragon Gaiden, the man who erased his name. This time round, we're spending time with Kazumo Kiryu, main character of much of the Yakuza series, who faked his death and abandoned the Kiryu name for the sake of his family. But we all know that's not going to last, as a mysterious figure aims to drive him out of hiding. It seems like the developers are most interested in up the combat, as they bring two high-impact styles for you to try out. Try Yakuza style or Agent style and switch between the two. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 It's time for the annual COD Fest as Sledgehammer Games and Treyarch combine to produce a true sequel to the record-breaking Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. You likely already know which side of the COD barbed wire fence you're on. You're either eye-rolling at another game in the series, or you've got battle paint on, and you're already earmarking Warzone, the campaign or multiplayer for your kicks. This is the 20th anniversary of the series, plus it's the year that the Activision Blizzard slash Microsoft merger finally goes through, so there's reason to celebrate. 
All 16 launch maps from the original Modern Warfare 2 have been included, while 12 other favourites and newbies will become available soon after launch. Persona 5 Tactica Persona is taking a leaf out of Final Fantasy's book this month as their global hit franchise moves into turn-based strategy. Much like Final Fantasy Tactics before it, Persona Tactics shrinks its favourite characters down and dumps them into battlegrounds full of enemies. We're mostly excited to get a day one Persona release on Xbox. Hopefully that's a sign of good things to come. But there's also a thrill to be had from seeing our favourite Persona 5 characters in an XCOM-like adventure with their Personas giving out damage in a very different, turn-based style. It also looks slick, something we should expect from the Persona franchise. Bluey the video game In kids TV terms, Bluey is the GOAT. If you've got kids of a certain age, there's a very good chance you'll know what we're talking about. Every dad aspires to be like Bandit, the father of the family, and the theme tune wraps around our brain like cling film. From screenshots and write-ups, it looks like it's getting the My Friend Pepper Pig treatment, as you can explore Bluey's world and the favourite locations from the TV series in beautiful 2.5D style. This is the cartoon series come to life, and we couldn't be more stoked. EA Sports WRC Ooh, get you WRC. Not only is it getting that EA Sports prefix, but it's getting the Forza number reset too. Not only that, it's the first to be developed by the Codemasters team, who, we need not remind you, were behind Dirt Rally. Oh, and it's got the FIA World Rally Championship license. Which is all to say that EA Sports WRC means business. It's the biggest WRC game by a couple of hectares. There's cross-play across all platforms, a new dynamic handling system, a series of races that mirrors the real world in real time, and there's a builder mode for creating your own liveries. Sounds like the renaming was justified. Jagged Alliance 3 Another game that's been generating some internet buzz is Jagged Alliance 3. Very much a B-list series up to this point, Jagged Alliance has built up a passionate but small community of strategy enthusiasts. But by all accounts, Jagged Alliance 3 might be the moment that it crosses over into the mainstream. It's been getting 9 out of 10s all over the shop on PC, but there's a significant bridge to cross. Can it play well on console? We don't all have mice and keyboards plugged into our Xboxes, but if Hamemont Games can pull it off, we might have your next favourite strategy war game. Teardown If you're one of those people who, shop horror, likes to watch people play games rather than, you know, play them yourselves, then you might have come across Teardown. This open world voxel game has done a bit of a red faction and made its sandbox fully destructible. That world has then been applied to a heisting game, where you're given full creative freedom in how you pull off the task. Blow everything up, drive a digger straight through it, drill carefully into specific sections. It's up to you how you tear it all down. The sheer scale and ludicrousness of that destruction has made Teardown a bit of a twitch staple on PC. And now we get to explore its joys as we pull an anti-Minecraft and blast the voxels into smithereens rather than stack them up. The Invincible We like to cherry pick one indie that's got the potential to knock all these sequels and franchises into a cocked hat and this time it's The Invincible. This is as close as we're going to get to 2001 A Space Odyssey in a video game format as the lyricism, beauty and pretension of that film is very much present here and we mean that in a good way. The story follows an astrobiologist named Yasna who travels with her crew to the unexplored planet of Regis Free. But things don't go to plan. It would be no fun if they did. And you're soon racing to find the remainder of your crew while uncovering cosmic phenomena. This looks beautiful. The game that we very much wish Deliver Us Mars might have been. And it's got the potential to be November's best. As long as Baldur's Gate 3 doesn't turn up. So there we have it, a solid roundup of games to look forward to in November, which will see you heading to the store for a download. 
let us know by leaving a comment. And pop back in a month's time to find out more about Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, Steamworld Build and Warhammer 40,000 Rogue Trader. We'll see you then.